doesn't have enough money to pay well, for the hundreds of thousands of dollars of a wedding that I want, but he will soon. Why would you want to do that to your man? What do you mean? Why would I want to do that to my man? That's for me. It's a celebration for me. You think he wants to spend that? I have my own money too. Yeah, but do you no, think no. he wants to spend that on the wedding? No, he doesn't. It doesn't matter. See, that's just all selfishness right there. That's self-centered thinking. She doesn't care if he spends all these hundreds of thousands of dollars, gets in debt, not to mention the ring that he has to buy, not to mention maybe he has school debts, maybe she has school debts that he takes on when he marries her. See, women have this singular, you know, thinking process. They only think about themselves. And then she mentioned, well, I have my own money. That's great that you have your own money, but you're not going to spend it on the man. Let's just keep it a thousand. All these women that say I have this and I have that. And I have my own money. Yeah, but you're not going to spend it on the man. And you're going you're gonna to expect the man to spend all his money on you. This is crazy thinking. Because when you look at the divorce rates, you look how long marriages actually last. You look at the laws that are skewed against men men always lose in divorces child custody all of that type of thing so as a man you have to really ask yourself is it really worth it to even get married to even do all that because somebody like this and this is the thought process of a lot of women because they've been sold this disney fairy tale that they need to have this big wedding big reception and you know all of this stuff all this money this is what they see in the media and this is what other women uh, perpetuate to them you know that they need to do so a lot of men end up starting out in their marriage even before they get married in a lot of debt and how many times did she say me this is all about her and what she wants she says it doesn't matter because it doesn't it's all about her you should not marry somebody that's only thinking about themselves doesn't care if they put you in debt. They're only looking for that small little time where they can take these pictures and, 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 and put it out there and let everybody see how happy they are at their wedding. But behind the scenes, it's misery because you're immediately in debt. You're immediately under pressure just from getting married. married. Because for the most part, for most women, just getting married, just going down to the courthouse or doing something simple, Oh, it's not good enough. That doesn't prove that men love them. If men don't do that extra stuff, if they don't spend all this money, put themselves in debt. Women believe, a lot of men, women, modern women believe that men have to qualify themselves by the amount of money that they invest or spend into a woman. And it's backwards thinking and those marriages don't last think i'm lying look at the divorce rates look at the broken families it's true marry somebody that doesn't value how much money you got in your pocket should a woman marry a broke man no but a woman shouldn't marry a man just to take what he has out of his pockets just to make her feel good 